extracting trying to extract to uh, draw attention to the articles on my website is for amino moses here uh my discovery on stomach acidity which is a very critical thing for the body designed not by us but designed by a designer who designed our stomach to be acidic i have found in research papers which you could go to the website and do a read it over i have the information there that when you consume high protein based substances you have an increase in stomach acidity meaning that your stomach becomes very acidic and that is because the presence of the meat fish eggs those kind of things even fiber um promotes the it's yeah i'm only reporting it but i'll tell you something about fiber in a while so it promotes the creation of this hydrochloric acid which helps in the digestion because you need it to digest the protein or the meat break it down into its well uncoil it first and break it down into its polypeptides activate things like the pepsin we also find in research that was done that the presence of fat not only increase the production of the same acidity uh, um, gastric juice gastric juices but of course we know that fat releases or communicates or maybe triggers the communication of that or the creation of the cck hormone called the cysteine kinase which goes up to the gallbladder and say prepare yourself some fats would be dumped in about an hour and a half make sure you have enough bile to send down to emulsify the fat or to wet the fat and cause that emulsification process what we find is that fat keeps the stomach more acidic for longer this is critical to understand because the consumption of fat simply means that the two openings the one from your throat down to your stomach which would be your les it's a splinter valve it would be closed once the stomach acidity is actually in the high ph range well i shouldn't say high i should say ph 1 to 2.5 it would close to safeguard the oesophagus itself and the lower one which is the pyloric or the one at the bottom the pyloric splinter to go to the duodenum this one would also close because once the stomach is very acidic they both close the two splinter that's why our stomach acidity is so important to keep these things closed when you get a acid reflux you are not really tasting acidic stomach you are tasting a mild acid if you have to get the real acid from your stomach coming up that's when you would have challenges we have learned from research paper we have observed that carbohydrates does pretty much nothing or it in some other papers that i've read which you could see on the site it could actually after a number of these cause the the gastric walls or uh, gastrin to slow down the production or actually not create enough secretion because by nature carbohydrates which would pro which is the source of glucose glucose being a sugar and the source of fructose being a sugar they do not need the acidic stomach for the digestion they are trying to get to the small intestine so they are in a race when you consume them and they get to the stomach they are there just to pass through for sterilization to ensure that you do not bring in bacteria but after a few days if you are on a very high carbohydrate diet whether it's plants or it is refined carbs your stomach acidity gets messed up now if you are looking at this and you have issues such as well let's say h pylori acid reflux and those things please think about your diet from that point of view whether it is whole food it does not matter sources of glucose are sources of glucose so for us here a high carb plant-based diet can in the long run lead to a shift in our stomach ph levels moving from one or two and up the road to three four five six this is dangerous because when we have that we would have bacteria fungus and um, other things well h pylori being popular coming in and making their homes in the so-called acidic stomach that should be acidic and setting up themselves then using the same glucose with a little bit of fat making lps lipopolysaccharides which basically anchors themselves in the stomach then you start having things like acid reflux leading to other issues such as your um, ulcerated stomach and stuff like that we have to be 
very aware of what is happening again if you do not have good stomach acidity reflux you will not be able to have proper protein digestion to make the amino acids that we need for our building blocks of life is the amino acids we would not be able to deal with all these incoming pathogens on our food we would not be able to extract the minerals again minerals is not digested they are extracted in the acidity of the stomach so a very good um vitamin supplement could become a waste if you do not have the adequate acidities in the stomach to extract that mineral from it so let's keep that in mind and that is why you might see a lot of the supplements boasting that they have increased bioavailability using certain technologies maybe liposomal technologies or whatever other technologies largely because they know the stomach of most human beings are messed up because of our pattern of consumption so what could you do you could change that it's you who was putting in that in your mouth so at least for a period you could test all things that's your power to test all things start eating a more high protein diet um, a diet that is high in protein and high in fats good fats not the refined stuff we're speaking about good fats and um get those things in your system and test to see if you are having um a better display of your health thank you for viewing again you could visit my website to have a look of, at this paper or this the uh, number of papers on the website when you get to the website you would click on this the acidic stomach it's a whole page for itself. Thank you for viewing.